Hello everybody, Spotted Gecko here again bringing you another video for the game World of Warships Legends. And today I have another community content video for you. This is a full match submission from Alfiers Gaming. Now Alfiers, aka Zade, is sending in a match with the Cleveland, the Tier 7 US light cruiser. In this match, it's high damage, high experience, and high main battery hits. So let's sit back, let's watch, I'll provide the commentary, and let's watch Alfiers dominate the opposition with the Cleveland. Let's get started. All right, he's got that uh, U.S. permanent camo on there. The red, white, and blue are Tears of the Desert Domination game mode. He's got one destroyer. He's got a few battleships. It's a Tier 7 match, and he's got a number of cruisers as well. Now, he spawned on the uh, northern side, uh, basically on the west, kind of more like uh, direct north, really. But uh, let's see what he's got on here. He's got radar on here. He's got uh, a couple of repair parties. He's got his sonar. He's got a few of those. He's got Ichi loaded up. All right. Now, the Cleveland is uh, one of the uh, light cruisers on the U.S. line that I simply have not grinded to get yet. And, uh, you know, I've been playing this game since day one, and I play a lot of the premiums, so... I still have a few of the standard tech tree ships left to grind in the cruiser and destroyer lines and a few of the nations. All right, so he's starting with 36,900. I'm assuming he's more than likely got Scott on here. Most people you do utilize Scott on the U.S. cruisers, but we'll see how it goes. He's going to set himself up behind the little island here. And inevitably, if you play this map a lot, you know, you see where his, uh, his uh, targeting was pointed initially, that opposing smaller island right there he's pointing at. A lot of the ships will hit down there, and they'll cut. Yep, there's one right there now. And so he could just start raining HE spamming fire on those ships. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. This is a spammer ship. So if you're really into spamming, then you're probably going to really enjoy this match. Man, the Cleveland's got a high rate of fire. Yep, there's the, uh, whoa, look at that. Was that, that was a large number of fires there. Holy crap. So, let's see, I'm going to add, now he says in here, okay, I'm going to guess with uh, this kind of match he said to him, he's probably got over 3,000 experience. That's what I'm guessing. If you get over 3,000 experience in a match, you know you've had an incredibly, and I mean incredibly good match. Because over 3,000 experience is great, great uh, games play. Alright, so, his high damage, I'm going to guess he gets over 200,000. And I'm guessing he gets over 400 main battery hits. That's what I'm assuming. So let's see if my predictions will hold out. That's my prediction here. As to how many fires, I'm going to guess he racks up between ah, around 15 fires, maybe. Let's have a We'll wait and see. He's off to a good start here. He's got a lot of targets. He's got a Wichita out there. He's got a couple of battleships. And uh, he's being spotted now, but still, it's really tough for those ships to hit him behind the island. They're basically going to do some Hail Mary shots to get him. Uh, I got my coffee with me, so I'm... Got you. You guys know me on my channel, you know how much I love coffee, so I've got coffee with me for this one. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying a lovely dark rose premium view while comment, doing commentary on uh, on Alfier's uh, game here. <laughs> okay, so let's get back. Get distracted a little bit. Okay, so what has he got there? It looks like the uh, King George V. So he's been raining fire on all three of those ships so far. Might even get the Confederate medallion out of this too if you can get at least six ships in. Well, so far, no ships on either side have been sunk yet. Yeah, going back and forth is a good idea there, Alfiers. And keep spreading out the fire among all the ships at the moment. Keep those fires going. 55,000 in damage so far. You're 150,000 you're 150, away from my prediction. And you're getting a lot of main batteries in there already. So I'm saying, what, what did I say? Over 400 main battery hits. And I'm guessing over 3,000 experience. Yeah, man, that, uh, that King George is just eating up the, uh, the Cleveland shells here. Could you imagine being one of the sailors on that King George right now? 
you're going to have to be inside. Uh, you cannot be on deck. That's for especially if you're manning uh, uh, anti-aircraft guns. You would probably not survive this. We got some corpse going in on him. Are you going to get sinking here? Oh, here, yeah, there's your first sinking. Oh, no, you didn't get it. Man, I thought you got the sinking there, buddy. Elf years! Oh my gosh, all that work and... Well, you know what? It is a team game, so it really doesn't matter who sinks the ships as long as you win the match. All right, so now you're going to be hammering the Bismarck here. <laughs> okay. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say hammering. I guess the, the effective term is uh, you're going to be raining shells, raining fire on the uh, Bismarck. Look at those things. Every few seconds, boom, there they go in the air. And they have a pretty darn fast trajectory, too. It's, they don't hang in the air as long as the Atlantis or the Flints do. A lot easier to aim these guns on the Cleveland. Now, that uh, cruiser, it looks like a cruiser. Okay, hold on. Let's see who's going to do the Bismarck here. He's going to keep that. He's got a fire going. You're at 91,000. 110,000 away from my prediction there. No, you can't get him up over that uh, little island there to hit him. Need someone to flush him out. Okay, what do you have over there? Is it a spotter plane? Okay. Yeah, it takes a lot to take out of Cleveland, too. Usually the battleships have to get a lucky hit on you to get that Citadel. Most battleships firing AP at you in the Cleveland are uh, just going to put big holes in you. That's about it. But basically, it only takes one or two citadels to basically wipe out the Cleveland, so it's still a risk. All right, he's moving up. Okay. Use that uh, battleship in front of you and a destroyer off to the right as screens. Oh, man, that Bismarck just keeps backing it up. That Wichita, man, it's sitting right behind that island. Oh, what's coming over? What do you have over there? The Azuma! Oh my gosh, okay, the Azuma, a uh, heavy cruiser of the, uh, the Japanese fleet there. Only thing I don't like about the Azuma is the reload on the Azuma. It is way too long. It really needs to be toned down. Otherwise, the Azuma, I find, is a pretty darn good ship. Once again, Putting some fire on that Bismarck, are you there, Alfiers? Okay, you guys have uh, taken this cap, which is great, too. Yep, there it is. You got the cap. Awesome. You're at 100,000, so you're halfway there to my prediction. And you haven't got any sinkings yet, so you know, that goes to show you you can get... Now, it depends, we'll see how many sinkings you're going to get, but you can have very, very high damage games be extremely effective without sinking anything. Are you going to be able to get that Azuma? That would be nice if you can get the Azuma. You worked it down to the waterline. The Azuma is not going to escape your fire at all. It does not have the maneuverability to do it. Not against these fast-firing Cleveland guns. He got a shot away on you, but that's, that's done. The Azuma's going to be done in about one or two more salvos from you. Look at that. Your second ball is already in the air. And you're about to do it. Oh, someone else fired on him. Can you get a sinking here? Oh, oh you got him. Nice. All right, it's 125,000 right there, and that is your first sinking. Uh, half the red team is gone. Mind you, it's still a tight game. Uh, both teams still have four ships, uh, one destroyer per side, so therefore it's still a very even and tight match. I always like to think of um, destroyers as the advantage or disadvantage, but there's still one destroyer per side, so therefore... I see that as both teams can either, either way, no advantage here. Now that Bismarck, you've been, you've been raining fire on that Bismarck uh, pretty much the entire match.
Let's see, what do you got here? You, well, you know, it's still going to take a multiple number of salvos to take out that Bismarck. Now, he got a shot on you, which isn't really going to do a whole lot. You can count on your thin armor here. Yeah, you haven't taken literally any, hardly any damage whatsoever to your ship. And you've just applied so much damage to the opposing vessels. Oh, so now you're going to leave the Bismarck, eh? Okay. There is a oh, Jean Bart that you could throw some stuff on, too. I don't mind burning Jean Bart's. <laughs> okay. Oh, the Bart got a shot over off on you, too. Now oh, you're making me dizzy doing all this uh, quick moving from screen to screen. <laughs> okay. All right, Alphiers, what do you got here? You're targeting the Jean Bart, which is uh, down to half. And you are more than likely get a fire going at some point. Well, you got three pens there, so it was a good hit on the Bart. And you're spreading out your uh, your damage here. So, like I said, you just may well get the Confederate medal out of this. I'm not sure if you can strike. I don't know if you can hit him yet. You have to back it up some more here. Okay, he's now veering the other way. You could wipe out that destroyer with your ship, no problem. Well, you're getting some good hits on the Baltimore here. There it is. That's the Confederate. Nope, that's a high caliber. That's a high caliber. A bit of metal you got there. Uh, there goes some torps. Uh, you do have the sonar up and running by the looks of it. Yeah, you do. Yeah, there's the destroyer. That destroyer is literally screwed right now. A Cleveland just popped out. It's doomed. I guess he didn't realize you have you have sonar. There's the Confederate, and then you get another sinking. Awesome. 148,000, two sinkings. You're doing a great job here, Alphiers. And look at that. The Bart is basically, uh, oh no, so the Baltimore. Whoa, look, we get some close quarters here, maybe. Both of them in red, white, and blue here. <laughs> oh, man. Two U.S. ships duking it out. Baltimore versus Cleveland. Uh, you think, you know, the Baltimore's harder hitting. It's got the uh, larger caliber gun, slower reload, but man, the Cleveland, lighter guns, but man, such a fast reload. Look at that. You're using AP under the broadside of the Baltimore. You're going to sink this thing, no problem. You see the thing just basically whittle away the Baltimore like that? Gone, just like that. Baltimore's gone. That's your third sinking. 129,000. Now, this is a dangerous place to be in right now. This close to the battleships can get your uh, your Cleveland sunk. It is the last ship remaining, 180,000. And are you going to be able to get enough? To, are you going to be able to break my prediction of 200,000? You need 19,000 damage off this ship. With this last, oh man, if you can do that, this would be pretty exciting. <laughs> this is a great match, Alphiers. Thank you for uh, doing the full match submission. Oh, you lost your Cleveland just right there. Oh, oh man, that's too bad. One hundred. Oh no, you're still racking up the damage. Okay, let's see if you can still make nine. If you can still make two hundred thousand, you may have gotten sunk, but you have fires going. Oh, I'm hoping you can get two hundred thousand. That was prediction. You had a great match with the Cleveland, though. It's really unfortunate you got sunk there. Come on. What do you got now? 199? Yes, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. There it is. 200,000 in damage with your Cleveland. Still racking up the damage from the fire on that final ship there. And that other ship just died. Great match there, Alphiers. Great match. But it shows you we get in, when you get in tight with a battleship, your Cleveland's probably going to get sunk. And it did right there. Anyways... Excellent match. Over 400 main battery hits there. A number of medallions, uh, three sinkings, 3,500 in experience. Well done. Great match. Uh, that was great. And all everybody, well, that's it there. And if you guys enjoyed this, please give me a like. And of course, it'd be wonderful if you would subscribe for future videos on my channel for World Warships Legends. Other than that, this is Spotted Cocker Gamer, and I'll see you on the seas next time. <laughs>